Welcome to the Analyzing Data with Minitab webcast. In this webcast, we will look at how to calculate basic statistics and how to run a hypothesis test using Minitab. For this webcast, we will use the sample data set called Shipping Data. To open the sample data sets, choose File, Open Worksheet, click this button, and in the Getting Started folder, we will select Shipping Data. This particular data set contains delivery times for shipments distributed from three different shipping centers. Here in column C1, we have the center column indicating which location shipped the order, and in column C4, we have the number of days it took each shipment to arrive. Now that we have our data in Minitab, let's compare the three shipping centers using some descriptive statistics. More specifically, let's calculate the number of shipments and the average delivery time for each center. To compute both the counts and the averages, we can use stat, basic statistics, display descriptive statistics. Here we will enter days as our variable and center as the by variable. To select the statistics we want, let's click the statistics button. We can then select none to clear all fields and select end total for the counts and mean to compute the averages. Looking at the session window, we can see that all three centers had about the same number of shipments and we can see the average delivery time for each center. Now that you know how to generate some basic statistics using Minitab, let's look at how to run a hypothesis test. Minitab offers many hypothesis tests, including t-tests, proportion tests, and ANOVA. Based on the descriptive statistics we just computed, we know that the Western Shipping Center's average delivery time was the fastest at about three days, and the Eastern Center's was the slowest at about four and a half days. However, we can't tell from these basic statistics if there's a statistically significant difference between the three averages. To compare the averages of two or more groups, we can use an ANOVA. Under STAT ANOVA, you will find many different ANOVA options. But for this example, we will use General Linear Model because it offers the most flexibility. To conduct the test, we will enter days for the response and center for the factor. Here in the session window, we can see our p-value of 0, 0.000. Because this p-value is so small, we can reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is a statistically significant difference between the average delivery time for at least two of the shipping centers. Once you've completed your analysis and you want to save all of your work, including your data and your session window output, choose File, Save Project. This concludes the webcast on how to analyze data using Minitab. To learn more about ANOVA and other hypothesis tests, we offer both e-learning with Quality Trainer as well as instructor-led training. For more information or to download a free 30-day trial of Minitab, visit minitab.com.